Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Harvard Recreation's Ask a Trainer. My name is Rachel, and today I'll be answering the question, what are the fundamental differences between a squat and a hip hinge? The movement pattern of a squat and a hip hinge can be a little tricky. They can look a little similar, but overall they work different muscle groups and in different ways. And both should be an integral part, not only of your workout, but everyday movements. We'll start here with your squat. The movement in a squat originates at the knees. And so we bend the knees to sink your hips low and your torso mains, remains moderately upright. Depends on kind of your body type. But from here, we're bending at the knee to get the hips low and then stand. This movement can be really familiar for some people because it mimics a lot of everyday movements of sitting and standing on a chair, in a car, different things like that. And it predominantly works your quadriceps, the front of the thigh and the glutes, in addition to recruiting a little bit from your core muscles and um, a few other accessory muscles, but biggest thing, quads and the glutes. Your hip hinge originates at the hip. Um, so there's minimal knee bend here because the goal is to engage pretty much every muscle on the backside of your body, your hamstrings, your glutes, we're gonna engage your abdominal muscles in addition to the muscles on your back and then the upper back. So in your hip hinge, it's the same initial setup, feet about hip width, but you, we want to hinge forward at the hips, sending them behind you and your torso pitches forward to act as a counterbalance. So here what you see is torso parallel with the ground. You should feel a nice stretch through the back of your legs. If you don't, your knees are probably bent a little bit too much. So you wanna straighten the knees, send the butt back, torso lifted. Important to note here, we're hinging at your hips and not at your waist, which tends to be a few inches higher. If you're hinging at your waist, you find a nice fold in the back and we see that your back is not flat and we're not getting nearly as far down as we would in your hinge. So we wanna make sure that we're originating that movement at the pelvis. This movement can be great for picking up heavy boxes, picking up furniture, a child, a pet, you name it. Um, it'll recruit, again, your hamstrings, the back of the thigh, your glutes, your abdominal muscles. Think plank-like core or plank-like upper body when you're hanging out in your hip hinge, um, as well as the upper back. So your hip hinge is really a full body, full body exercise, ready to go. Hope that was helpful for you today. Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Ask a Trainer. We'd love to hear from you if you have more questions and stay well.